A local naval recruiter from Weaverville is in jail tonight, charged with multiple sexual crimes involving a child. Benjamin Johnson has been charged with three counts of indecent liberties with a child, two counts of felonious restraint, and one count of first-degree sexual exploitation of a minor. News 13's Kimberly King is streaming live at the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office. Good evening, Tammy. That's right. Um, he is being held at the jail on a $60,000 bond, and investigators say Johnson had the opportunity to be around potential underage victims in a school setting, and that is why tonight this investigation remains wide open. Neighbors in Weaverville say they know 37-year-old Benjamin Ernest Johnson, the recruiter for the U.S. Navy now charged with multiple sex charges involving a minor. He's believed to have recruited at area schools working in Buncombe, Mitchell, Madison, and Yancey counties. That's scary to me. I it makes me worried about the children in the high schools like that. Johnson lived in this Weaverville home, neighbors say, with his wife and children. It's where neighbors saw deputies in an unmarked car arrest Johnson this morning. They moved into the neighborhood three or four years ago. Neighbor David Eichler served in the Navy. He remembers when recruiters came to recruit him. They rec recruited in high schools then, so... That's how I learned about it. Investigators aren't saying where the child or children victimized in Johnson's alleged crimes go to school. But it's a horrible thing. Neighbor Pam Shamblin feels if charges are true, there's no way the alleged crimes can't impact the child victim or victims involved. I probably follow them all through life, I'm sure. I have two sons that have been Marines, and my husband is a former Marine. And I think it's just totally shocking that somebody in authority especially an authority, would do something like that. Johnson and his wife are well known in their Weaverville neighborhood for hosting an annual very large Halloween party for adults and children in the neighborhood. We did reach his wife by phone. She said she had no comment. Reporting live at the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office, Kimberly King, News 13.